I think that it is undoubtedly true that the move from the House of Lords, indeed from the, the place where we are sitting at this very moment, uh, to a, a separate Supreme Court is in keeping with the times. I think the stage had been reached when it was no longer satisfactory to have the final Court of Appeal of the United Kingdom uh, sitting as a committee of the House of Lords. Although it had worked extremely well in the past and probably could have gone on working extremely well. The big advantage, as I see it, of the change is not in practice the separation. It is the fact that the role of the new Supreme Court will be better understood than the role of the previous House of Lords by people who are not experts in the matter. Furthermore, they will be much more accessible. Coming up to where we are sitting at the moment, we had to go along corridors, yes. up on a lift, along another corridor, back down the corridor, and it is very confusing. And members of the public who are entitled to see and watch the final court of appeal in operation just did not usually come to hear appeals. And I think that's a bad thing, having regard to the changes in the role of our final Court of Appeal in relation to the type of cases they hear. Nowadays, cases of great importance to the ordinary citizen regularly come before the final Court of Appeal. And these are of, of cases which can have serious immediate consequences on the safety of the public in some cases because they're dealing with terrorism issues, they can involve issues uh, of human rights uh, which all citizens are entitled to and I think it is much better that the court which now exists on the other side of Parliament Square, easily accessible, excellent communication facilities should now be open. Well, I think we're the guardians of the rule of law. And I think the rule of law is a critical part of uh, our democracy. And uh, our democracy would not work if it wasn't for the fact that the judges have the responsibility 